Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day, Day 1, 5 Days of Straight Razor Shaving. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now, this is very special. This is Day 1 of 5 Shaves. Now, we're going to do it in a row, and it will be done with a straight razor. Now, Miguel wanted to uh, see me prepping the blade by stropping. That's the only thing I do before a shave. 60 laps on the smooth side of the leather. Sixty laps, and he also wanted me to use Mitchell's wool fat. We're going to try to go ahead and explain that a little bit as well. Now, if you have experience with Mitchell's wool fat, let us know down in the description. That would be brilliant, and you could help a lot of people with that. Now, here we go. My sh my razor is my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. This is for gentlemen's use only. That is a 15 16 blade, barber's notch, smiling blade, and it's out of the mid 1800s. Fantastic razor. Now, again for our soap tonight, Mitchell's Wool Fat. And this has just got a nice, marvelous, kind of clean scent to me. Maybe a little floral notes in there and that kind of thing, but it's excellent. Yes, it is. Now, I have had the fat blooming, okay? I always bloom the fat. That's got maybe a, I don't know, eighth of an inch, six millimeters worth of water on top of it. We're gonna pour that off. And I bloom this every time I use it. And I pour off the bloom water. We're putting that on as a pre-shave, all right? We're gonna get that on, work it in. There we go, just like that. Now get those hands cleaned off and we're gonna dry them off for my brush tonight. Here we go. We're going with the Grand Bamboo. That is a quarter for the Grand Canyon. And there you go, isn't that beautiful? Now this is a 30 millimeter black and white tuxedo knot from Maggard Razor. It is synthetic, so it has not been soaking. We're gonna go ahead and get that wet right now. All right, and now, one of the main secrets I've found with Mitchell's Wool Fat is load the brush up. Just load it up really good, and that will help a lot. Yes, it will. Now, Hopefully, you're having a wonderful weekend, being able to relax, enjoy yourself, be with family and friends. Yeah, especially during these times with the COVID-19 thing going on and all of that. You know, it's important. It really is. Stay safe. Stay at home if you can. All right. And, uh, you know, for those of us that can't, we will do what we have to do and it'll be fine. All right but follow your local rules, all right? 
whatever state you're in or whatever country you're in, whatever the rule is, just follow it, all right? That's gonna be the best bet, all right? Now, my wife is starting to get ready to teach high school from home. My daughter is already doing all of her university courses online at home. My son is teaching a virtual classroom for the company he works for. So he is home as well where he lives. Now, you need to stay safe. You also need to stay healthy, all right? This is no joke, just do it, all right? Very important. Now, as I'm loading up this soap, look at that, I'm making a, a really good mess. I really am, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I just put a little bit more water on that brush, just a little tiny bit. All right, we're gonna get that brush loaded up like mad. All right, look at that. All right, excellent. I think we're there. Now, I'm gonna take from the inside, we're gonna get all the really good stuff, all right? Getting all of that out of there. That's gonna go on the brush. Now, all this craziness on the outside of this, just gonna go on the face. Yep, as much as we can get on the face anyway. There we go. Now, put that down. And now this is all bubbly and airy, and that's not what we're looking for, right? We want a nice, thick lather. And we, we're gonna get it, we are. I just want to work this in, just working those whiskers, prepping them, all right? There we go. Now, probably most people could shave just with that, but we're not going to, okay? No, not, not on this channel, yep. All right, now, with this COVID-19 and everything, I have been watching Netflix and uh, kind of running out of things to watch. So if you have any suggestions, you could leave that in the comments as well. All right. Now I will, this is just day one of five shaves in a row. So you can look at that and that will give you something to look for if you're at home and trying to find something to do. All right. Now we're going to kick this up, being careful as we're doing this to rotate that brush ever so slightly, okay? Because you need to do that or you're going to lose lather off the bottom of that brush big time. Oh yeah, now look at that. Now that's, that is looking sweet. Yes, it is. Now the synthetic brush will help because it won't hold that lather. It'll give it up nicely. And all you have to do is load it. Mm-hmm, load it really good. There we go, nice. And look at that brush, isn't that beautiful? It's got more than enough lather on it, definitely. Get those hands cleaned off. All right, now, this actually is two days growth, all right? We're gonna be shaving every day, so we have to change the way we're gonna do this. So I'm going to do a one and a half pass shave, yep. And let's see if that works. I think it will, I don't know about this first shave, but I think every preceding day after, should be a better shave. All right, let's get going on this. This is pass one, and for me, primarily, that's gonna be with the grain. All right.
very gently with that. Weight of the blade only. Very slight angle, even on this wedge, all right? This is really a nice, very nice razor. And even on the wedge, I tend to use a slight angle on it, not a big heavy angle. So that helps as well. And we're trying to do the least amount of damage and irritation with this because tomorrow I will be back with another shave. There we go. Nice. Yep. So far, so good. All right. Now, keep in mind, we do multi-pass shaves. So, you click on this card to see straight razor shaving map, straight razor grip in the order of the shave. All right. And we're not going to try to get it all in one pass. We're going to go with the grain. We're going to go against the grain. We're going to go across the grain. Whatever works the best for you. You check that video out. That will give you more of an idea as well. slightly blowing out my cheek there trying to flatten that area remember stretching is very important with a straight razor that can be the difference between a good shave and a bad shave yes it can Now, I don't have this quite hydrated enough, so we're going to work on that a little bit with the next pass. It could be hydrated more. Yes, it could. All right, there you go. Pass one complete. And that felt good. It did. Let's see how we did. All right. Good beard reduction. Very nice. Yep. And it seems, yeah, just seems like the neck needs a little bit more. And we're going to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, we are. Now, 
It's time for the half pass. You click on this card up here to see the half pass revealed and reloaded. Could be very helpful, especially if your jawline and your neck are problems. This could help you out a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. And we got more than enough soap on that brush to do what we need to do. I'm going to paint in just a slight bit more water. All right, we're going to hydrate it even more. All right, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. That is really good. Yes, it is. Now we find that. All right. Here we go. Now this is a little unorthodox, but it works for me. We are going to go against the grain primarily on my neck and my jawline. Let's see how this works. very gently, trying not to buff as much as I normally would. I would do normally do a lot more, but we're trying to keep it simple, trying to keep it short, and trying to get a good shade at the same time. There we go. Nice. Yep. Oh, looks like I hit a little spot there. Ah, nothing that Allen Block can't handle. Yep. It'll be fine. Now, let's get that rinsed off. Okay, okay, that's acceptable. That's a socially acceptable shave right there. All right, and one and a half pass. That is good, it is. Mm-hmm, now we're putting alum everywhere. Gonna take care of that little bump and it's gonna tighten the skin, close up those pores. Should do fine. There we go. Now, I normally just dry that off. All right, just like that. And if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. All right, and for me, I am going with Thayer's. And this is lavender witch hazel, yeah. This is good. This actually will kind of complement that floral note in Mitchell's wool fat. Yep. Now, oh, I put that everywhere. Mmm. So good. Really is. Excellent. Now, for my aftershave, if you watched last Friday, 
you will know. Stetson cooling moisturizing aftershave is what I'm going to use. And I use this kind of as a cologne, even though I do have their cologne, but I shave at night, so I don't necessarily put the cologne on in the evening. In the morning, I might. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, and look at that. That is a socially acceptable shave right there. That is brilliant. That worked. All right, and that's all I'm shooting for. SAS. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. We're going to top this off with Nivea Cooling Post Shave Balm. And I'm telling you, this is good. This is going to help repair that skin and help that skin be ready for tomorrow's shave. Yes, it will. And... I just put that everywhere. Don't think you can go wrong with that one. Mm, not at all. Now, if you're needing something to watch, down in the description, I've got a full playlist of the 2020 Straight Razor Edge Friday specials that you could check out. All right. And that could be uh, something you could do. All right. Click up here to see if I could only have one aftershave for straight razor shaving plus a bonus. All right. Could be helpful. Now, I get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. Down in the comments, go ahead. Leave me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special. We will get that going for you. Like this video if you liked it. And if you've been around for a while or you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Remember, this is day one of five straight razor shaves. So I will see you tomorrow. Now, down in the description, I've got a ton of links for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists especially for you. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.